I usually show you how the mullet or other fish go down in the 1800 gallon. I want to show you how the pellets, I show less frequently how the pellets are taken. They're taken with much gusto. So two days ago I gave a mullet. Right now, two days later is the pellet day. And then two days later again they're going to be a fish day. Alright. Here we come, ready or not. This is just the first portion. Usually there's three portions like that. Of the sinking pellets, or slowly sinking pellets. And then I give them... Uh, portion of the floating pellets. And the current is pretty strong and it's, it's clockwise, so it's taking the pellets and see there already some pellets are floating towards the back of the tank. Hopefully to everybody's enjoyment. So I'm gonna just continue filming and go get go prepare another portion of the pellets. I will not turn off the camera. Just let you observe and enjoy. The large mouth bass just locked on my finger. It didn't hurt, but it was unexpected. As I was dumping the pellets inside, he took my thumb in his mouth and tried to eat it. Good thing they're still small, about a foot, maybe 10 inches, 10 to 12 inches. One of the great losses of Matthew Longs that is not growing almost <laughs> at all. One of them is huge, like two feet. One of them is a foot and a half, and this one is less than a foot. Almost never comes out, almost never see me. I don't know what's wrong with the tarpon. I mean, the eye at some point already healed up, and then it got very cloudy again. I don't know why. Maybe it keeps hit, hitting it at night at some uh, on, on something, but I don't know what. And it hasn't fed yet either. Nor did the vultures, I think. The vultures are not feeding either. And I haven't seen them yet, so they're still adjusting, taking their move hard, of course, because they were so beat up in the 4500 gallon. Anyhow, here comes the third portion. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna turn off the camera.
off, hit the cup. Dora doesn't take fellas, at least I haven't seen it in a long, long time to definitely take any pellets. It only takes fish. Okay, we're gonna give him a couple of minutes to work on this last portion and then we'll, we'll give him the floating pellet, the fourth portion. Tiger Shovel is just snatching something, I saw that. He hasn't taken a fish for us yet. He seems to be taking some pellets. He lost his big beer belly. It's almost gone. Now he's flat. I hope he's gonna start taking fish soon. The badly disfigured dude. It came from Mike and Amanda. You can see the creases on the Gerwini's body. That looks a little freaky. You see how the plates are not flexible on it. The skin flaps between the skin, uh, skin gaps between the bony plates are provide flexibility. All right, let me go get the floating palace and throw them in, and we'll be done. Mouth bass, they'll swallow anything. Uh, the Oscars and the uh, Baramundi perch, they're trained to take them. They just inhale them very strongly. Just like that. Jaguar, cichlid from Greg, from clear water. Everybody, uh, a lot of other fish take them too, but probably about half of the fish in here don't take the floaters, floating pellets. The older tarp, or the, the younger tarp, tarpon that's been living here anyway, it's older for this tank. But younger tarpon, they take them too. Bala sharks take them, tin foil of course. Arl Barbel, they, they take anything from anywhere. I don't want to take a little bit, and the guard take a little bit, as you can see. The jungle perch, the Hampala barb. Really greedy fish. It takes also anything and everything. I'll show the new Masir, the Pitotora and the Udri. They also take them. There you go, yep. Aramundi, Tarpon. This is a funny short body Baramundi. Kind of deformed. Caudal peduncle of the rear half is too short, compressed. We we'll get dumped garbage fish in, in the ordinal trade. 
Right. So that's about how the pellet fitting goes down. Very lively. Thank you for watching. Or maybe I should just let you watch a little longer. out.